Hi, this is Joshua at TechSpec, and today we're going to be talking about inserting tables into Google Docs. So the easiest place to begin uh, if we're going to insert tables into Docs is up here in the Tables menu. So to insert, we just drag out to what we want. So I think I need a 4x4 four four table, so I'm going to go ahead and insert there. Um, now I can start inserting uh, text into my table. So how I'm going from cell to cell is simply by using the arrow key. If you use the enter key, you'll just create a line break like that. Um, so I'm going to use the arrow to go up and down or left and right. So I get here and I realize, oh, I forgot to include a header row. So on any of these top um, cells, I can right click and I get this whole um, set of tools that I can do. The other place I can do this is, is come here to the tables menu and go to table property or, or look down here, but right clicking is a little easier for me. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a row above. And this is going to be, say, my uh, yard duty schedule. So I'm going to go ahead and fill those in. Um, you know, it it also occurs to me I, I need to add something to the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and insert a row below. And maybe I want to have one more slot for the afternoon, so I'm going to in, insert a column to the right. So this will be after will be typos, <laughs> afternoon as well. Um, and you know what I really need here is just, I just need a note to all my teachers down here. So I'm going to right click, and what I want to do is merge cells. So this way, I can have a longer space for a note for everyone, OK? Um, if I should come back here and choose to unmerge, it will break it up all into the component spaces. Uh, again, if I merge here, it'll just break those two. And I can merge over here and have um, yet another note. And there you go. That's a basic table, but it's not a terribly interesting table. Um, so actually, what I'm going to do is um, I, I like a good bold header row. So I'm going to select that row and then come up here to the color bucket and give it a nice um, strong background. But the black text doesn't really work up there, so I'm going to select it again. And this time I'm going to go to my text color and change it to white. And it pops out pretty well, pretty nicely there. Um, and maybe what I'll do down here is give it, you know, sort of a different color, maybe that that light red berry. Um, so say I found, oh, I still need one more row here. One of the nice things is what once you have set your formatting, if you insert row below it, or above, it, it copies the formatting just as you might want here. Um, another kind of cool thing, let's say we, we decide to darken this up um, the same way. We're going to come back to the color bucket and change it to that. We're going to change our font color to white. Um, excuse me. That's our color. Woo, there we go. Um, so in here, the black lines uh, are not really my favorite thing. So one of my favorite tricks in a table is to uh, have the table borders match the background of the page, which in this case is white. So I'm going to go into table and then come down here to table properties. Right now, the table border says that it is black. We're going to switch it to white. We're going to beef up the table lines, table border width one and a half points instead of one point. Click OK. And there we go. Now it almost looks like this is floating on the page and it's adjusted all the text. So I still have the cells here, right? They're still here. Um, but now they just have a white border. So these notes will stay attached to the table, but they don't necessarily look like a table. And there you are. That's the in basics of inserting a table and formatting in Google Docs. Happy Googling.